Hi everyone, did you know that you can create Visio diagrams inside Microsoft OneNote? Well, if you ever wanted to have documentation in OneNote where you can have a Visio diagram, but you're having to essentially uh, take a snapshot of your diagram and then paste it inside of OneNote, well, you can actually use Visio directly from inside OneNote. And I'm going to show you how. So default setting for OneNote should be that you'll need to go to the Insert tab, and then you'll need to click on More Commands over here, and you'll find Files, Diagram, and you have two options. You have an option to use an existing Visio drawing or a new Visio drawing. So what that looks like is if we just simply create a new page here, and then down at the bottom here, I'm going to go to more, and I'm going to do new Visio drawing. And what that's going to do is open this little window or add this little window here where I can click edit. And it's also going to add the name. So it's gonna open, we click edit, and it's gonna open Visio in a new window. And it's going to give the name of the file, the name, whatever the name of your OneNote page is. So in this case, in, in this case, the page name is template design drawing. And then from here, we, we can start creating our Visio diagram, right? And then once, once we're done, all we actually need to do is close this window and we save it. And then it's going to add your diagram right here. So that is a fantastic way of creating Visio diagrams right inside here. And you'll note that if you click edit and go to file, and then we go to info, and we can see where that file is located. Um, for documentation purposes, this is a fantastic feature. And I want to show you one more thing. Obviously, it's not great to have to go uh, multiple clicks to get to this. So let's just go ahead and right click on our toolbar and do customize the ribbon. And then on this side over here, we can go to the insert tab, which is open right now. And then we can find files because under files, we have diagram and we're going to click files and we're going to drag it up to home. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it just like right right at the top there. And then I'm gonna click okay. And then this will, the toolbar will refresh and then we can click on home and we can see we have diagram right there now. So it's uh, easier to get to if you're, if it's something that you're using a lot or you can put it wherever is convenient for you. All right, everyone, hopefully you found this video helpful. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone, bye-bye.